All right, folks, going to do a uh, bit over rows, trying to pick up a different camera angle. I like to change it up every week. And so that's what uh, we're doing here with that angle. I got to get another camera going. So we have uh, kind of screwed up here. I was recording the main video and forgot to unpause it. Okay, so let me put this on. I'll have a bunch of different views so you guys can see if you want. And hopefully I remember to start linking these videos so you can go. That's, you can see the muscle working a little better in certain angles. See the weight, how much weight we got. So this should be about 98.5 pounds. And I am, uh, I could have did more. Trying to save a little bit for later. Um, I want to get to one. I think the next set we're going to do 118 and we're going to call it probably. Um, we could do 108. But uh, I don't know. I still got quite a quite an issue with this right elbow and it's just not uh, not healing if I keep overdoing it so folks um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't we'll have a lot of a lot of uh, these one to two hour workout videos if you're watching the long one with commentary I'll talk about all kinds of stuff I talk about my dreams of a, a really awesome home gym that is actually more like a commercial gym. Uh, I just put a bid in on a on a commercial incline. One of my saddest days. And actually, it wasn't that sad because I was living in Saint Cloud, Florida, and had a gold membership. So I really didn't need the equipment I had, but now working out at Planet Fitness, and even though I do have a real gym I can go to, one's 30 miles away, the other's 40 that I can work out at um, for free. We won't go into those details what they are, but so that's you know that's too far. So occasionally you'll see me working out in a commercial gym that's not Planet Fitness. Um, but uh, we would like to get that uh, fixed incline. Um, while it might not be as safe as doing it in the power cage, I honestly don't feel like buying another incline bench. Um, and I'd have, to, I'd have to buy one that's about, you know, 300, 350, and it might... I have to pay for shipping so then next thing you know I've got the same cost as a incline commercial bench that I could also I believe do um, dumbbells in even though I haven't um, I don't think I've ever done dumbbells on one of those I've always had the adjustable bench so if we can get that we have to figure out where that's going to go here um, and that's that's potentially a problem. Um, I honestly feel like the power cage is too close to the wall. So that aspect sucks. We have the least amount of weight on there right now. So I should slide it. I need to slide it six inches, 12 inches back this way. Now, I don't know if we have enough pointing this way where the light's coming from this other light if I have enough room that way and I can't move the decline down too far um, the incline actually could be rotated 90 degrees so it's not in the same direction and that's that's probably what I'm going to do folks I think that's my best bet yeah actually let's do that if we get an incline 
Now I made a video about me, you know, thinking about traveling to Texas to pick up three pieces of gear. Um, but after looking at how much it costs to rent the U-Haul and the gas, I didn't even look at the gas. I didn't look at the gas, which would have killed the, the whole idea. Um, yeah, that's the major, the major, the other, the other part of that. So I, I would have had to, I had to use my sky miles to get there. Not a big deal, but. I don't know. <laughs> I've got so many sky miles, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, uh, I think the wife is planning on using a lot of them here in the future. So, uh, I said I was going to go 118. Let's just do. Let's do uh, 113. So that way I can fit all this on here without getting a different color. Now Those of you on the on this camera on the ground probably appreciate the fact that I didn't bend over right for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I need I need thinner tens for this to really if I want to use this collar. Now, of course, there's the other collars that will allow me to put more weight on there. But with that collar, that is, that's about the, the most I can get on there. I do have a five, a thin, a thin five that I could put on there. Um, so we get, what would that get me actually? Would that get me my 118? So we have a hundred and tens. We got 10 tens. We have two, a two and a half, uh, or two, two and a half. And a half, so that's five more pounds. So we're going five there, and then the the bar eight pounds, and the collars are half. So one thirteen and a half is the exact weight. Um, now, oddly enough, I'll do anywhere from hundred to one thirty at the commercial gym. I I think I tried one thirty fives and got four. Um, I'm not the smartest thing. This is not a Probably a good exercise to do ego lifting, but uh, I was kind of surprised I can't replicate that here. Um, it is such a hassle to carry the 130 over. Where here's another advantage of these uh, these Olympic dumbbells is you can you can adjust the the weight right in front of you, and maybe I should make a short out of that, you know. Um, and edit some video to it. Matter of fact, let me let me do that now. That way, I don't have to do any editing. All right. So, let me make YouTube short about this. Hey, folks. So, ever think about? using Olympic dumbbells for doing your uh, one arm bent over rows. Uh, let me tell you, a lot of advantages of this. You can load these things up. I, I think this is a 20 inch model. There's a 16 inch one. I could get, depending on the collar, at least 120 pounds on here, maybe up to 140. Uh, one nice thing about, you know, not having to buy all the massive dumbbells, like this replaces a lot of dumbbells that you would have at the house, right? The other aspect, I don't have to pick this thing up and carry it to the rack 
back and forth every time I get a heavier uh, dumbbell. I can also use uh, these increment weights that I have, micro weights, you know, easy to put a five, two and a half on there. And so right now you're looking at a hundred and thirteen pounder. Um, and so we'll do this for the sake of the video. And depending on the collars I have on here, like this, I'm kind of maxed out. But if I put the other collars on, I can get another plate on here. So, two, three, four. And there you go, folks. All right, so we'll rest for the left side. That's my, my little video for using the the Olympic dumbbells. Um, man, I really felt that in bicep, dang it. So I don't think today, which is odd, I don't feel like I could go much heavier for eight reps. I think we've just about hit the, hit our peak for that. Um, I need to make sure that I take care of this right elbow as well. Now we do have all kinds of elbow sleeves. You'll see in my videos that I'll use. Um, you don't want the real big thick ones, folks, for doing bicep related exercise. You want the thicker ones when you're pressing because they'll help you. So I mentioned in the video all the different gear I bought in different videos. We bought a barbell holder. Can't see it unless you're watching one video or the one view of this, but Olympic uh, bumper plate holder. Plus it holds two barbells, which is great. We bought this Signature Fitness thing. Um, you know, Signature Fitness belt squat device, 40 bucks. The five barbell holder, 40 bucks. I think the bumper plate holder, 70. And it's got wheels, uh, which is great for, you know, if I was going to do hip thrusts right here, I could drag that thing over, uh, get it a little closer, I guess. But it's actually, it's great because it's organized everything. Now, one day maybe I need a second one or not. You know, we have a bunch of weights that aren't in there. But realistically, I don't, I really don't see a need for me to buy any additional uh, bumper plates. Um, then I put a bid in on a commercial incline. And if we're lucky, I'll win that. Then I have to figure out how to go get it. That's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Um, and... So if I get that, folks, that would be great. That would be awesome, actually. Um, I would absolutely love that. You know, there's problems associated with it. Getting it down here, and then i got to put it together. And then, you know, boom, me actually using it uh, safely. Because you guys see how much weight I like to throw on there. The one good thing about the commercial incline, I know I'm safe for, you know, a slingshot 300, 350 press on there. Like the bench is going to be safe. We're not going to have any issues there. What we don't know, though, is if I'm going to get it up. Uh, and that, there lies the problem, okay? So, that's good. Um, if I get that, though, it's almost like, okay... Here's two more benches that you're probably never going to see on the set anymore because they're just not going to get used. So we have three benches that are sitting around not being used and uh, that or two, that would be the third one. I'll still keep the power, the power cage will be for flat bench. I probably will never replace that. I, well, I might buy a better power cage, but I don't think that I'm going to... Um, I don't think I'm going to buy a, a fixed flat bench. Now, tempting to buy a fixed uh, military press bench, but 
only if it has safeties built into it. Um, and then, then it becomes like, okay, is this worth bothering with? Um, when I can do, I can either build a platform that would allow me to use my Titan Fitness Bench inside here relatively easily and eliminate one of the issues I currently have with it. I did face it this way and it actually worked pretty good. Um, so I'm like, well, maybe we don't need to worry about that in actuality. Um, but I'm thinking a three by three power cage might be the way to go. And then what happens with this thing, folks? Do I sell it? Um, you know, that's the question. <laughs> uh, and I don't just don't know. Or would I have it set up somewhere else for something else? You know, it actually would be pretty good, I think, for squats. It's probably its best, best thing in the flat bench, but it could be sturdier. All right, so here we go. 113 on the left side. So the left side is definitely weaker, but all right, let me shut these off. Um, I'm curious how those camera angles worked out.